Let's talk a little bit about nursery trees. We've got several that we can look at here in this orchard. This was essentially a whip tree from the nursery. And I would say it probably came headed from the nursery because I tend to not head my trees. And we'll see a couple other trees that weren't headed and the growth response that we get. But a good point that we can make about this tree, it has pretty nice structure. This would classically be a pretty good tree. We have five scaffolds dispersed fairly nicely around uh, the lower part of the tree. We've got a strong leader here. And then we've got this branch coming out here that um, gave us some leaf area for growing and establishing a good root system the first year, but it's really not a branch that's of any value to us in the future. So a tree that has grown like this in the first year, the way I would treat it for the coming year would be uh, to do some tipping of all of these branches that will cause uh, further bifurcation of the branches, filling our space in the lower tier. I would eliminate this branch with a cut you know, to a lower bud. I have a lower bud right here. Cut it here and I get a regrowth with a weaker branch, better angle, and it will be about the same age as branches that will develop off of this part of the shoot. With this part of the shoot, I'd leave the terminal, remove a couple of buds, leave a bud, remove some buds, leave a bud, remove some buds, and whirl those buds that I'm leaving down around this tree. So in the future, what I'm envisioning is exactly where I want the branches to go, to give me nice light interception, but very little uh, shade of these lower areas. On the older part of the tree, where I may have a bit of a, because I'm removing this branch, I know I'll regrow, but I have nothing over here, I could come in and score above a bud that I would like to see break. And the scoring itself may cause that bud to break and elongate into a lateral, or I could also paint it with a little bit of promelin, which would stimulate that branch to grow. The point I want to make here is, is when you have headed a, a young whip, you tend to invigorate, drive the vigor in the tree towards the terminus of it. So, of course, that tree wants to regrow a new terminal, but it hedges its bets by putting more vigor into other lower buds as well. So we see a strong regrowth terminal, which is fine, but we see a very strong uh, secondary terminal coming off here. And even this one is, is relatively strong relative to the diameter of the central leader itself. And we look down below and we see weaker wood, weaker wood, weaker wood. So from the first year onward, this tree is going to try to put all of its vigor in these upper, more vigorous branches. And we're going to struggle to get good growth and good vigor out of these lower branches. So it's difficult to balance. It's one reason if you get a tree like this, you might as well recut these more vigorous branches to a lower bud, allow them to start to regrow, and push the dominance into the lower buds, the lower branches that already exist, and you can achieve your balanced hierarchy from year one onwards. If you miss that opportunity in year one, you're always struggling against that in year two, three, and four. Now we'll take a look at some nursery trees that weren't headed and the impact of not heading and not invigorating that terminus.